Welding is a process of joining materials by the application of heat, pressure, or both. There are a lot of welding methods to join materials to form the welding joints. So what is a welding joint? And what are their types? A joint can simply be described as a configuration of members and not depend on how it is welded. In this video, we will learn the main types of welding joint used in the fabrication. As we know, butt joint and AT joint are the most common type of weld joint. So let's start with butt joint. In a butt joint, two metals are joined by simply placing their ends together and then performing the welding operation. These two objects are nearly parallel and do not overlap. This example shows a single B-butt joint. Here different types of butt joint configurations are shown. A T-joint or fillet joint is a connection between the end or edge of one part and the face of the other part. As the name suggests, two plates or pipes are 90 degrees to each other forming the letter T shape. Take your time to get familiar with different types of T-joint weld configurations. A corner joint is a connection between the ends or edges of two parts making an angle to one another of more than 30 but less than 135 degrees in the region of the joint. Here different types of corner weld joints are shown. An edge joint or simply called parallel joint is a connection between the edges of two parts making an angle to one another of 0 to 30 degrees inclusive in the region of the joint. Take your time to get familiar with different types of edge joint weld configurations. A cruciform joint is a specific joint in which four spaces are created by the welding of three plates of metal at right angles as shown here. In the American Bureau of Shipping Rules for Steel Vessels, cruciform joints may be considered a double barrier if the two substances requiring a double barrier are in opposite corners diagonally. Double barriers are often required to separate oil and seawater, chemicals and potable water, etc. A lap joint is a connection between two overlapping parts making an angle to one another of 0 to 5 degrees inclusive in the region of the welder welds. When designing a lap joint the overlap between the two plates needs to be at least 4 times the plate thickness, but not less than 25 mm. Next is flare joint. Flare joints occurs when at least one member is round. For example joint shown here, between two bars or between a pipe and plate forming flare joints. Hope you have found this video useful. Please don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.